This is a message to manufacturing improvers. How productive are you? You might be into Lean, Six Sigma, Total Quality, a manufacturing engineer, an industrial engineer, or a manufacturing supervisor with a green belt in something. How satisfied are you with your productivity improvement results? Here's a back of envelope calculation for you. US manufacturing add two trillion dollars value per year to purchases. Output per labor hour has increased about 5% per year for the last 10 years. That's an improvement in productivity of 5% times 2,000, which is $100 billion. The cost of the 300,000 improvement black belts in the US is about $20 billion. If you add other people who improve manufacturing, the cost of all the improvers is at least twice this. So $50 billion is spent saving $100 billion, a net benefit of 2 to 1. Now, think again, how satisfied are you? Here's my story. After five years as a manufacturing improvement manager at a medical devices factory, I found I couldn't live with myself. My own productivity had shrunk. How long would it be before my employer realized that I was costing more than I was yielding in benefits? I quit. A couple of years later, I was back as an outsider with a method and the method was devised to tackle the integrity gap I'd been feeling. So why was I such an unproductive productivity expert? Here are my reasons. 1. Few real improvement projects were approved. The annual project list, which was the basis of the budget, was mostly essential and urgent items, compliance, health and safety, corporate edicts. 2. Projects would not be considered without a detailed analysis of what they involved. However, to work out the details was almost as hard as doing the projects. Most such proposals were aborted, resulting in a total waste of effort. 3. Improvements driven by a strategy. If your strategy is lean, where does a plan to move stockholding from distributors to the factory fit? Such a strategy approach focuses effort, but also blinds you to possibly more worthy improvements. 4. Your voice is not heard. After a few years in the job, your authority dwindles and you become invisible to the decision makers. Perhaps this is because they hired you to make things better, and you get ignored because you have not appeared to make things much better. To overcome these failings, you need an approach that takes a fair look at everything quickly assesses project value, is a part of the decision making and focuses on the most result for the least projects. Working as an outsider makes your client really look for benefits far in excess of your cost to them. A saving of $20,000 for a cost of $10,000 is a non-starter. We have a client who is very happy with a $5 million saving for a cost of $20,000. That's 250 to 1. You don't have to do as well as that if you're an internal improvement employee, but it has to be 10 to 1 or better to feel good to the employer. More importantly, you, the improvement expert, will clearly see the results of your efforts. Those results will be noticed by those who don't know the detail of the operation but do look at overall business measures.